the sorrowful passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, give me the grace to suffer in patience the miseries of this life, and be my refuge in all my necessities. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we are going to continue with our discussion on a market segmentation. Share my screen. So a recap from our previous discussion. We already. Um, familiarize ourselves with the three processes in market segmentation. Okay. Another so three steps to target marketing: market segmentation, market targeting, and market positioning. The process of um, segmenting or is separate ang ato ang total population of our consumers into several segments that have similar characteristics is called market segmentation. So, di ba, if you can still remember itong pagmanday, no, katong total population, ato siyang i-divide according to age, according to gender, according to their lifestyle, their buying preferences. Moto siya, ang, ang process nga segregate sila is called market segmentation. And those smaller groups nga pag-segment are called market segments. So, for example, when you already did market segmentation, you already have five segments or five kabuok smaller groups with similar characteristics. Mo pili ka o pinaka attractive, not in physical ha, but when you say attractiveness ganit class, possible nga mo palit sa imuhang mga products. So, the most attractive segment there will be your target market. Okay? So, sa tanan nga lima ka book segments nga amo ang gi-divide, ma'am, lima ni ka segments tanan, isa ra ani amo ang gikuha and that is our target market. So, we are done already with market segmentation and market targeting. Let us now proceed with market positioning. So, if you can remember, no, pila to siya ka buok o pat, no, yan. Geographic segmentation, pag mag-segregate ka og mga potential ni mga market segments, kay according to place no kung according to place gani geographic asa sila gapuyo asa na lokate ato ang mga uh, potential customers kung demographic according na na sa ilahang general information about them like their life cycle age gender income occupation education religion and race for psychographic it's more on a lifestyle your personality, social class, or mga things na naanad, naandan na ni mo, no? Naanad na ka nga. That is what you're going to do every day because it's already become a lifestyle. Okay? Pero may kung kitag behavioral, it's your reaction to a certain, ko ano, panang like trigger or a certain nga, nga scenario nga gipresent sa imuha and naakay um, behavior na gipagawas as an action as a response to it. For example, no, your response during special occasions, you buy, let's say, flowers or chocolates during Valentine's or gifts or decorations during Christmas. Okay? So, muna siya, no, it's your behavior, your, your response to a certain scenario or a specific trigger. Or you have like benefits sought. No, you want to become slimmer. You want to become more whiter, baron. Or you mong tita mo mo puti. No, so your response to wanting those benefits is mo mo palit ka to mga product because you want to see yourself nga ma improve no because of those products. And then you have the usage rate. No, kung unsa kadako ang imuhang uh, paggamit no sa usa ka product is it always baka gagamit ani no same sa user status um, if you always ba buy the product or for example um, have a uh, light user ra baka ang usage rate is light medium or heavy user ang light user mo palit ra ka occasionally like kanang ko oh, ano mga expensive nga pagkon occasionally ra man ka mo palit ana no or or gifts ba? Pero ang heavy user ka ka nang ginagamit ni mo every day. No, like for example, amo ah, jud akong paliton for me. Every time mahutdan ko ani nga kind of product, mo palit tapod ko ani nga produkto. So, 
you are a heavy user of that product. Kung medium user lang, dili pod all the time, pero dili pod seldom. Like, sakto-sakto lang, no? Siguro every three months, mo palit ka. Okay? There's a once a year, no? So, ang usage rate, either light, medium, or heavy user ka sa product. You also have a loyalty status. So, refers to the degree by which customers are loyal to the brand. O, parsa nang kita, no? Ay, dili. Diyo ginahan mo, palit. O, basta dili gani pons, dili gani selitek, dili ko mo palit, ana nga product. Bahala, nagwa ko'y gamiton. Kay mura dyan na akong gamiton. That's loyalty status. Okay? And then, kung buyer readiness pertains to how ready ang Osaka tawo magbuy sa product, no? Like, take for example, if I am unaware of the product, so, di pa ko ready mo buy sa product, kay kulang man akong information nga nabalan about sa product. It would take me a lot of convincing for me to actually buy the product. Or, if I'm already aware of the product, there's a possibility that I'm ready already to buy the product because I know it exists, I know where to buy this, and I know how much it is. Okay, yung muna ang behavioral. No? It's more of your responses to a specific like, like trigger or maraming muhang behavior towards a specific product. Unlike psychographic, it's your way of life. Like, it's my lifestyle to always travel or buy luxury clothes. Like, it's part of my life na jud siya. Na, di na jud na siya mawala, routine na jud na nako. Then, that is psychographic. Um, the behavioral is your behavior towards a specific product. So, muna na siya pag last meeting, no? And then, we also discussed market targeting from last meeting. So, we identified what are segments and what is also attractiveness. Diba, when we define attractiveness here, it is not the conventional attractiveness, like anong physical attractiveness, but it's more on um, how big of the potential a, a, a consumer or a segment will buy your product. So, kung so, kada ko ang possibility nga kani nga segment mo palit sila sa imuha nga product and few lang ang ilahang aggressive competitors or few lang ang imuhang kakompetensya ani nga kind of product and then you have company objectives so ang company objectives and availability of resources di ba we already discussed this one ah uh, syempre mo um okay mga chikiting gagi agi na so ah uh, syempre no ah uh, when you talk about company objectives and availability of resources, dili put ka maka offer ana nga product even though it is ne needed by your potential target market if you have few resources and it would be impossible for you to materialize that product. So dapat kung mapili kag target market, tiba una wag market segmentation sa ka. Ako sa ni is aggregate ma'am according to groups nga na hay similar characteristics. I grupo na ako sila according to age, gender, according to preferences. And then, dapat pilihon po na ako kung mag-target market na ako sa mga several segments nga ako ang nasegregate. I have to really make sure na ma-meet po sa kanina nga target market ang ako ang company objectives and na may available resources na pwede na mo magamit in order to uh, materialize no, the product. Okay? Kay person ano ni pili kag mga vegetarian niya gamay ra ko ayo niya although um na makai resources for their needs kay basta vegetarian more on vegetables naman no mga non non dairy og non meat products ra man na sila pero ang nakakuan lang ana class is few lang pud ang imuhang customers dili pud siya large enough to be substantial so mo pud na siya sa mga reasons why Okay? Dapat enough imong resources to provide for the needs of your target market. And also, kwan po siya, no ka nang, daku po siya nga kind of market segment. Dili siya niche. Okay? And then we also discussed last time the different market coverage strategies. So, natay undifferentiated marketing, um, differentiated marketing, and concentrated marketing. Kung may nguntag undifferentiated marketing, so, wala siya yung market segmentation. Wala niya gitunga-tunga according to segments ang iyang target market. But instead, tanan ang tibuok population, ang iyahang um, ang iyahang giapas, 
and all for example, offer siya one product to all of the population sa ilahang uh, target market, no? Like tibuok regardless kung tigulang na or batanon or um, regardless if it's male or female, regardless if one sa ilang lifestyle or ang ilahang mga uh, mga preferences, sila akong himuon as my target market ang tibuok ni siyang population. Dili na ko mag-segment nila, dili na ko mag-divide nila according to groups. That's undifferentiated marketing. And usara ka product imong i-offer nila tanan. Nya, usahay medyo kuan man ni siya no, medyo risky because if you're offering only one kind of product to a diverse kind of market, kay lahi bi ang preferences sa tigulang, lahi ang preferences sa mga batan-on, lahi ang preferences sa mga uh, binata, no? Mga dalaga, no? Lahi man sila preferences. So, ang ending ana, no? Mag-struggle juga og sell sa imong product or um gamay rag impact imong product sa imong mga consumers because you're only offering one one product, no? Unlike differentiated marketing, um you have several market segments na akoy segment nga puros mga tigulang, na akoy segment nga puros mga batan-on na ako'y segment nga puros babay, puros lalaki, and then I provide them with products nga mufit sa ilahang nga age, nga mufit sa ilahang gender, or mufit silang preferences. So, sa differentiated marketing, katong gi-illustrate na ako last time, no, pag Monday, na ako'y i-offer nga specific product to fit for their specific needs. Unlike undifferentiated marketing nga, usara ka product para sa tanan. Murag, one for all, no, kanang murag multi-purpose na siya. Unlike sa differentiated nga, kada segment, eh, kaninga segment, puros mga batanon, kaninga segment, puros mga tigulang, kaninga segment, puros bayi, kaninga segment, puros lalaki, na ay specific product for each of these segments. That's differentiated marketing. When we talk about concentrated marketing, it's more on conducting actual segmentation. Diba? Ibalik rin ako niya. Ako rin gireview sa inyo kay case na kalimot mo. Mag-market segmentation ka, daghan na kay kag mga market segments tira, mupili ra ka og usa. And dira ra ni mo i-focus tanan ni mong mga energy for that one segment only. Take for example, out of all the market segments nga ako ang gi-divide, no? Ang katong market segment nga mga 13 to 19 years old mga babayi ang may akong gihimong target market. So, kung unsay ginahan sa mga 13 to 19 years old nga mga babayi, mo po na imong i-develop nga product to fit to their needs, to fit to their preferences. That's concentrated marketing. Nag-conduct ag actual market segmentation and nagpili ka og target market. Basta wala pa ka nakapilig target market ha, market segments na sila. Okay? So you think about about it ha. Usa siya ka tibuok nga whole. Unya kan pa na siya, wala pa ni man siya na segregate, sagol-sagol pa na sila tanan. Once imo na sila isegregate according to age, gender, ilang preferences, ilang batasan, example ra na siya. Kan lang pag segregate nimo that is market segmentation ang process. Ang kanang mga grupo nga imuhang gi-segregate ang tawag ana nila market segment. Unya, pumupili na gani kag usa ka market segment nga imuha rang fokusan, murag ka nang kan gud mamili ka og kanang mga crush nimo ba? Kan yun ako pinaka main crush. Oh, siya jud ang pinaka number 1 crush ako sa tanan nga lima ka crush nako, ma'am. O kanang number 1 nimo crush nga imo siyang gi fokusan nga siya jud number 1 sa imong attention, mo na siya ang imong target market. Okay? Nakasabot. Sabot na gud mo ikaw na gud ingi balik gud. Oh, let us now proceed to sorry, sorry. market coverage strategy. So, kani? Okay. Sa exam, do not be confused, ha? If I will say three market coverage, three market coverage, ha? Walay strategy, ha? Kung i-clarify daan, kung wala gani ko na yung strategy, market coverage lang, kaning tulo. Undifferentiate, undifferentiated, undifferentiated, differentiated, and concentrated. If mga yun na gani ko o strategies, kaninang upat. 
Okay. So, actually, maglibugay ko no kay kani kay Cutler manggod ni siya ang kaning upat. Actually, apart naman po ni silang katungkulo po, no? Cutler po to. Cutler man siya ning tanan. Pero, para din nilang makonfuse kay both of these are strategies, actually. No, kani, this is a strategy. Kaning tulong ka book, strategy po ni siya. Para di mo maglibog. Basta, may ngon ganit ko of market 3. 3 market coverage kaning tulo. May ngon ganit ko of 4 market coverage strategies 4 market coverage strategies kaning upat okay so you have company resources degree of product homogeneity market homogeneity and competitor strategy so may you the company's resources this refers to how much money and resources the company has which can be allocated to marketing okay so Siyempre, before ta maka-decide nga concentrated, before ta maka-decide nga undifferentiated or differentiated marketing atong pilion nga coverage strategy, we have to also think about our resources. Enough ra ba tong kwarta? Enough ra ba to ang materials to do concentrated marketing? Nga mo pili ra tag usa ka target market or it could be enough ra ba ako ang money? Enough ra ba ang ako ang resources to conduct differentiated marketing nga I can provide a product for each of the segments nga naadira. Okay? Kung limited ra, ma'am, gamay ra man ako ang budget, ma'am, gamay ra akong capital. What would be the best um, approach? Concentrated, differentiated, or undifferentiated? Kung gamay ra yung kwarta, kaya ra ba ni Mutanan makater or usara? Okay? What would be the best in your idea under company's resources? O, oh, ba Concentrated marketing. Balik ta ha. Ano man, ma'am? Kung gamay akong resources, ma'am, gamay akong kwarta. Dito sa number one, ha? Ano, ano concentrated marketing, man? Kung na a class, si concentrated marketing class, usara ka segment yung difokusan. Nag-conduct siya market segmentation, nag-conduct pa siya target marketing, kaya pili siya usa ka market segment. So, katong 13 to 19 years old ra ako ang gipili, sila na po na kong fokusan. Pero kung gamay ra imuhang kwarta, imong capital, imong materials for making your products, dili siya advisable nga mag, kuan ka, mag differentiated kay, ang differentiated ra ba dapat na kay product kada segment. So, dapat na kay product para sa tigulang, para sa batanon, para sa babay, para sa lalaki. Nya, gasto biya kaayo na siya kalain-lain, bina sila o gusto. Or, kung mag-undifferentiated ka, usara ka produkto, pero tanan, ang imuhang kwaon, ang whole population, lugi ra Japan ka, kay what if imuhang product, okay ra siya sa katong mga batanon, pero dili siya okay sa mga tigulang, or dili siya okay sa mga lalaki. Diba? Dili siya mahalin. Sayang ka ayo. Imong gi-advertise para sa tanan, pero ang mugamit, trapila rapod ka buok. Okay? So, po na yung consider. Ang number two, degree of product homogeneity. If ang product kay standardized or identical, parehas anang naa sa undifferentiated marketing, nga usara ka produkto sa tana, para sa tanan, it's more advisable to go for undifferentiated I'm sorry, to go for uh, concentrated marketing or undifferentiated sorry, sorry, napuan ko no so kung usaray mong product usaray mong product, similar na sila tanan dili ka mag differentiated marketing, dili ka katong mag uh, draw na lang no kay para how will I draw? Gali ka struggle kay gusto na ko i-drawing para makasabot ko siya tatanan ba. Kasi if I have whiteboard here. So kung similar yung production, pero ato ka sa concentrated marketing or undifferentiated class kay kuan man na class, ang undif undifferentiated um usa man ka product pero para sa tanan. Kunya ang concentrated kay usa ka product for one specific segment, di ba? For your target market. Wala lagi ko yung... Okay, na rin. 
Sorry. Mag whiteboard ta. Jump boards ta. Minister Cleofi. Na delete po siya mo operate. Okay na kung similar ra imong product, identical ra, parehas ra, pwede ka mag-undifferentiated kay usa ra ka product para sa tanan or pwede ka mag-concentrated marketing which is um usa ka product para sa usa ra ka segment. Okay? Pero kung mag-differentiated ka class, growing lang ta dire. Sa reeling si cup. Sa so, dilagi siya mo Ay lah. Lakanin ka straight. Makita ra ko ang kuon. Okay, makita ra ko ang whiteboard. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Laka straight. Hiwi. <laughs> Gapint naman ta ni. Uy, abali ni eh. Okay. Oh, kani siya morning undifferentiated. Ito yung illustrate no kanina may mga visual learners dire. They should ka picture out. Uh, feel na ko ana sa mga visual learners. One product para sa tanan. Kunin lang butang ag label ha, differentiated. Ah, uh, under under uh, Balon na yun ta. Undifferentiated. Unde yung differentiated. UD. Sa ubos. Talaga mo yung nilig space ang jamboard no. Gato-gato-gato pa siya kong padako. O, lain-lain ni. O, lain. Ato lang yung i-picture out. Lain-lain na ah. Wala na ako nung hay. Nakakapoy o draw. Gigugol na lang tayo na ako ni guys. O same mara po na. Naay siya ay product for each. Mauta dyan eh. Gihimuot dyan ko sa akong gihimu. Save dyan akong decision. O differentiated na din. Puta dyan eh. Kani siya, muna ni Ang. Kod ako pa ko sa babaw. Abi na ko, na ko eh, mas scroll down pa. Okay. Kani, muna ni Ang concentrated. Wow. Very artistic. Aesthetic ka ayun. Ay, usara ka sa, na target market ka. I cooperate with most of. Huh, grab it. Art. So anyway, mona ni siya no. Ah, this is one product, but it applies to all. If you have similar products, then you apply undifferentiated marketing. Pwede put ka magconcentrated kay one product, ah, fit for a specific target market. Okay. Unlike sa differentiated nga, you have several products to fit your diverse um, segments, no? Wala maka no target marketing, kay? Wala maka ni pilig usa. Tanan man dyan po sila. Ang ah, nakalahi lang, niya ni undifferentiated, kay? Kani usa ka product para sa tanan. Kani line-line nga product para sa needs sa tagsa-tagsa. So, imo po na lang taon sa imuhang degree of product homogeneity. If dili if similar lang gani no homogeneous, similar lang gani siya mga products, wala siyay variety of products, pwede ka mag undifferentiated, pwede ka mag concentrated. Now, uh, market homogeneity, if diverse na pod no, diverse na pod ang prod uh, ang market, diverse na pod ang product or diverse po ng imuhang customers, pwede ka mag 
pwede ka mag uh, differentiated marketing. Kay meaning ana, lain-lain man imuhang market nya wala man ka nag-target marketing although nag-market segmentation ka, pero wala ka nag-pick out og target market, tanan man sila imong kwaon. So, maghatag ka, mag-offer ka lain-lain nga products na mo fit sa ilaha nga needs. Okay? Next is competitor strategy. Ito balik. Ang competitor strategy class is you have to make sure na you need to assess the strategy of your competitors so that when you also make your own strategy, mas malabuan ni mong competitors or um, you would do something different from your competitors. Do not always do the same thing with your competitors because otherwise, either delete, delete ni mo ma-replicate ang um, marketing uh, efforts sa mong competitors or it's not enough or delete po ka ng mas better pa ang imong competitors Japan compare sa imo ha. Um, it's much better to make a different strategy than your competitors but make a better one nga malabuhan po dyan pa imong competitors because your end goal is for your consumers to actually choose your product and uh, other than their competitors. Let us now proceed to market positioning. Don't worry, we are almost... Gamay na lang po ni ang slides. So, market positioning is developing competitive positioning for the product and an appropriate marketing mix. Positioning has everything to do with the deliberate way uh, by which marketers want to position their product in the consciousness of its prospective customers. When you talk market positioning class, what kind of image or impression do we want uh, to let our consumers know about us? Okay, din ni musulod ang household name. Every time they think of a product, they think about your brand. Like for example, if I tell you, try to think of um, cola. No kanang kwan ba? Kanang soda. No, so may kalabanan na inyo hang first choice. Ang first thing that will come to your mind, Coca-Cola. Or for example, if I say Coke, oh, think Oh, Coke, diba? Yeah, for example, mga nabi ko class, koan? Um, ang say first thing mo come into your mind if we say toothpaste. No, toothpaste. Yung sa man? Colgate daw. Colgate, diba? That's, uh, that's, koano, an effective market positioning because maayo kay mong marketing efforts no up to the point na masking ginahan mo palit o close up ang imuhang customer, every time they would think of toothpaste, Colgate ang premium manhonaan nila. That's what we call um, a household name na siya, na siya sa top of the market positioning. Kay, ang imuhang brand, ang first thing that comes into their mind if they think about a certain product. That is why there is always like a misconception about saying, ay, magpa-serox ko. So, dili na siya so, dili na siya magpa-serox lang, no? Ang, oh, kung man na siya, class, ang serox is the brand of the photocopier. Ang proper dyan ah, na siya nga term is photocopy. Pa-photocopy ko, ma'am. Pa-scan ko, ma'am. pa, pa an Dili pa-serox. Makalito ka tag pa-serox kay tungod. The serox brand, the photocopier machine hanga brand, ang serox, is so popular that every time nga magpa-photocopy ka, serox yung masulti, di ba? So, there are three positioning concepts that will help reinforce the idea of market positioning. First one is unique selling proposition or USP. Competitive advantage. Then, top of mind. So, let's start first with unique selling uh, proposition. So, it is a term used to identify what makes the product or service different from others from the say, from the word unique no this usp may occur due to the product's physical attributes added services personal location or image so you, you try to think of something what is different in my product that cannot be replicated by others it could be my quality service i have very good personal that is what makes ritz ritz carlton ritz carlton no kanang 
number one nga usa sa mga number one nga hotel, di ba? Because of their customized service, no? Because of their personnel. Or you have added services, no? Amenities that are different from yours. So I remember when we had our OJT when I was in college, um, our regular staff would tend to uh, mention that they would do um, benchmarking. And when they do benchmarking, mag-ilis na sila o ka ng civilian and they would pose as customers. Mag to sila sa lain na hotel, mulan tao sila on facilities dito para makompare po nila sa hotel kung asa sila go work. But actually, among schools and other cities, that is very healthy. We always do benchmarking all the time. Not because we want to compete with each other, but we do benchmarking with schools and also with um, cities because we want to know what are the best practices nila na pwede ma-apply sa atua. Mara po nang sa tawo good nga imbis maghimantay ka ng mga lain nga batasan sa imong kauban, imong lantawon unsa yung mga nindot nga attribute sa ilaha nga pwede ni mo ma-absorb and pwede ni mo ma-apply sa imong self para mo grow pa jud ka. That is what benchmarking is all about. So, um, sa unique selling proposition, well, it could be added services, something that is unique uh, from your competitors, then your physical attributes, your location or image, or even location, okay. Oh, do all ramis ako on. Mana advantage ni namu, okay. Next one is competitive advantage. It is the product's advantage over competitors, which is gained by offering greater value, either by offering low prices or providing more benefits to justify higher prices. But usually, class, um, if you have higher price, uh. If you lower your prices as your strategy to gain more customers or para makabawi kasi yung mga competitors, maybe times nga dili siya, dili siya maoy, mag advisable na kind of uh, strategy. Kay, kung masikap paubos o paubos na pressure class, malugi mga kamadugay, hindi ka kabawi sa yung kapital. Pero kung bahala nagmahal ka pero mo offer ka quality services, mo gasto naman dyan po na ang tao. That's what we are, even in CSR, that's what we are trying to po ano nga, dili ta mag, magsige o apas anang mga uban nga schools, mga magpaubos, jod o kuan kay syempre, mga managin apas sa mga bata ang sila makabarato. We try to improve the quality of our services and our education to our students so that their parents would think it is still worth it, no nga balag magbayad ko, at least high quality. But the sad part here in, C in San Carlos class, no? Kalabanan na ba sa to ang mga stakeholders or our uh, people, no? The consumers here in San Carlos City, they don't actually go for quality sometimes, especially sa education. And makasabot man dyan ta, kay usahay, ang mga ginikanan, dili pod biya ka-afford pod. Magpaskwila silang mga bata, wala dyan na siya kaso. So, muna, usahay, ilahaan na, asa mas makabarato, mas makatipid. Labi na karun, no? Nga mahal na ang palito nun. No practicality, and it's very sad. No, we're living in the Philippines for survival, and it's not actually having quality or having the privilege to to enjoy what is quality services. Kaya siya primal mo ka ayun yah. We don't have the the means to to afford that. No, wow, rant. So next one, top of mind. So this is what I, ah, this is what I meant about like. Pa, pa Xerox ko ma'am no? or pa, palit ko o Colgate ma'am ka ng close up or ka ng ay inom tag coke per ka ng royal ba no? or ang tutag Jollibee kaya Jollibee dyan na permi ang nasa itong una huna no? basta mag, mag una huna dyan taog uh, fast food chain no? so uh, top of mind is when you have already reached the highest level of recall and that is how uh, and that is what marketers would like to achieve no they want to be on the top spot in the consumer's mind so gusto nila sa sa pinakababaw no nga every time they think of a product they think about us okay sana all makahuna huna niya sure napod so uh ayan na siya no like map mom pa xerox ko mom which the right term should be mom pa photocopy ko because that's actually the right term xerox is the name of the brand ha Mabita ko sa una, sige ko ingon pa, Xerox ko ma'am niya. Xerox is the name of the brand of the photocopier machine. Okay? Not actually the action itself, no? So, some positioning strategies also include the following. Specific product attributes such as price and special features. So, muna nung nga, ikaw dyan na mahinom duman kay, ah, diri lang ta kay ka ng 
hindut kay lahang kuan, hindut kayo ang ilahang mga feature silang product na pa freebies. O, oh, wapo na, no? Anong mabutan ka sa top of the market positioning? O, oh, pwede po mabutan ka sa top of market positioning based on the benefits and the needs the product feels. Like, kaninga product mong good, masatisfy mong good niya ang unsa akong gusto as a consumer. That is why every time that I think of a product, kani siya nga brand akong ginapili. Okay? Ka-effective jud ka ayo siya. Okay? O, positioning, the product based on certain classes of segment users. Like, um, according to women, children, or primary users, mara po siyang segmentation. Can also be done. Then a company can decide to position itself against an existing competitor and present its edge over the said competitor. Take for example, uh, I want to compete with um, McDonald's in the States because McDonald's cannot actually compete with Jollibee here in the Philippines. So I will open up um, franchise no, dito sa abroad. Yeah, ako yung ito ko dool jud sa sa McDonald kabante mo na no kung asa McDonald na di Jollibee stopan or say maguna una ang Jollibee taparan sa McDo no? kay they're trying to go with number 4 iposition nila ilang kaugalingon against an existing competitor and present its edge unsay na asa amo a ah, nga wala sa ilaha para malabuan na mo sila sa market position niya okay Well, let us now proceed to new and emerging markets. So, uh, in the study of Cooper et al., in their new and emerging markets, they identify the growth of tourism markets as fueled by these factors on the demand side. So, kani mga following factors mo ni sila ang ningtabang o grow sa tourism markets. No, pa di, mga growth factor or favor the growth of tourism. No, but in here, mo ni siyang reason ano daghan ta og mga potential consumers number 1 economic growth per abot lang kaha karon no knowing nga mahala kayong paliton noon but before no economic growth nagboom na siya more opportunities for people to have disposable income disposable income gani class kanang naa kay sweldo abi or kwarta na abot sa imuha unya kanang kani siya nga kind of money kay Ibayad ni mo si bills na pa'y nabilin. Kaya yeah, dako na ba kayo? Nas mga 14,000 pa'y nabilin. Sana all. Unya, kaning 14,000, that's your disposable income nga pwede ni mo na siya mag for travel. Pwede ni mo mag sa lain nga butang to buy things. And that can help increase our markets or our potential customers because of disposable income and due to economic growth. Okay? Disposable leisure time and longer life expectancy with a sound health to travel. May kita og longer life expectancy since daghan namang kaayo og mga na discover nga um, medicine or mga breakthrough in medicine class no nga um, dili na daghan ang mamatay no na napoy mga vaccine so nag halt siya sa fatality sa covid no and then there's longer life expectancy with with kuan pa jud no um Tawag ka na, ka ng mga health insurances so people are encouraged more to travel then changes in living conditions so mo na mga city dwellers more engaged in tour or tourism because ikapoy na sila sa hustle and bustle of the city fast paced life that's why they want to travel no they want to to purchase tourism uh, services and products because they want to escape that uh, hustle and bustle sa city Rising educational levels and increased access to information, stimulating curiosity. So the more nga educated ang usa ka person nga aware siya nga these these destinations exist, dinut suruyan dire, expose pa siya through social media, ma stimulate ilang curiosity nga la unsa ka dito no ang tukha ta dito, di ba? So open na no and then increasing international integration of life. Furthermore, Cooper C tourism supply side growing through the development of infrastructure. Diba kabante ka basa na ay matukod na po ni establishment daghang mo bisita dira nga mga turista. If you look at Iloilo, no? Iloilo before without the convention center, without the big hotels, without mega world. Medyo few pa lang ang mo visit sa Iloilo. Yung ano, no, Boracay rin siya ng hapitun karun. Kaya nanay mega world. Nya, daghan na kay mga sulpot ng mga museum. 
Lagan kay sulput nga mga like, cultural centers. Lagan dako kay sila convention center dito. Dako nga mga international hotels, those big infrastructures help encourage, no? Um markets, no? I mean, tag markets ka ng mga potential customers. Okay? Then continuous tourism product development. So mga mga tourism product like mga tourism destinations ginadevelop syempre yun na napoy bag-o ang tunog po ta dito visit po ta dito nga lugar so the more siya nga ma-encourage of people to travel then the elimination of legal limitations uh, on and practical obstacles to travel so diba sa una daghan pa kayo mga babag niya sa so, kanang katong wala pa kayo na-establish ang ASEAN lisod kayo mo travel outside of the country because stricto kayo ang visa uh, daghan na kayo mga requirements so karun no, na iban mga visa free countries na it's easier na to travel and especially now na wala na yung COVID na wala na kayo mga health ko ano mga health requirements and health protocols na so it's far more convenient na to travel outside of the country and that is it dali na kayo no 41 minutes rata na klase very short rata discussion for this afternoon just kindly study all of the discussions that we went through from from the very beginning until the end then i will just give you specific pointers tonight para at least ka nang makabalo mo asa mga areas mo study but please please make sure nga makatuon mo dili naman totally lisod ang class uh, ang exam na right case study di man kinahanglan tunan ang case study pero you have to familiarize yourselves with marketing concepts so that it will be easy for you to answer our case study okay wala kayo tano 